Hi, and welcome to Limestone Technologies Polygraph Professional Suite Quick Start Tutorial. In this video, I will be walking you through the simple steps to conducting a polygraph examination using your Polygraph Professional Suite software. We will begin the examination by double-clicking on the Polygraph Professional icon, located on your desktop or in the Windows Start menu. This will bring you to the Polygraph Professional Suite front end. The front end contains a number of easy-to-use features that save time and can increase your efficiency. These features are covered in more detail in the tutorial video titled, An Introduction to the Front End. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will focus primarily on the specific steps to running an exam. The first step is creating a new session. A session will hold all of the information about your polygraph examination, including charts, question sets, any audio or video recordings, and anything else you wish to save within the session folder. Keeping your sessions organized is effortless with Polygraph Professional Suite. By clicking on the New button, located on the front end toolbar, you will open the Session Information dialog box. From here, you will enter the details for this specific session. Let's begin with the session ID. This is the name given to the specific test and must be unique for every session. The session ID may consist of any combination of letters and numbers. For this example, our session ID will be Demo 1. Next are the examiner and examinee fields. The examiner field will autofill by default to the name of the current user. You will be required to enter the examinee's name in the examinee field. Keep in mind that you can manually edit the examiner's name if you wish. Also provided is a section for additional information about the examinee that can be accessed by clicking the expand button. This information is not required to begin running an examination. However, you may wish to fill it out later to help expedite the report writing process following the test. Now that you have all of the required information entered in the session dialog box, the next step is to add the question sets. We will do this by clicking the Add button. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will choose an acquaintance test and a zone comparison test. Highlight each template and click the Open button to add them to the session. Now that you have added the question templates, you will need to modify the zone comparison test template for this specific examination. Click and highlight the question template you wish to modify, then click the edit button to launch the question editor. The question editor contains a number of customizable options that are covered in more detail in the tutorial video titled, An Introduction to the Question Editor. Within this template, you will notice that there are sections of text that are missing, denoted by underlines between the text. While all of the text in this template is editable, you will usually focus on just the underlined sections of the template. The question editor application is very similar to a word processor. It even includes a spell check for any typing errors. You will notice that above the question list area, there are chart sequencer controls. These controls allow you to prearrange the order of your questions for various charts. For this example, we will rearrange the order of the questions on chart 3. Select sequence 3 from the sequence dropdown. From here you can rearrange the questions using the drag and drop method. Click on the colored square that corresponds with the question you wish to move and simply drag it to the desired location by holding down the left mouse button and releasing it. Now that you have edited all of the questions for this specific test, you are ready to save your question set. Click the Save button to save your modified question set to this specific session. After saving the question template, you will exit the question editor application by clicking the red X located at the top right of the screen. This will bring you back to the Session Information dialog box. We have now supplied all of the required information and modifications to begin the examination. You can now click the record button to launch the chart recorder. The question sets we added earlier have automatically been loaded into the chart recorder for you and are located in the drop down menu in the bottom right of the screen. Select the first question set you wish to run, which for the purposes of this demonstration will be the acquaintance test. 
The sequencing of your question templates will automatically cycle after the end of each chart, starting with one, or you can manually select a desired sequence. Please note that the acquaintance test only contains one sequence. The questions that are to be asked during each chart are located at the bottom of the screen under the real-time graph. There is one tab for each question. All of the questions are in order and will automatically switch as you ask them. To begin recording your first chart, click the start button located in the bottom right hand corner of the chart recorder. You may also use your keyboard enter key to start and stop the chart recording. Begin Chart 1 will be displayed on the real-time graph and all events and data collected after this start point will be recorded. To ask your questions, hold down the spacebar and read the question. When you have finished reading the question, release the spacebar. You will see that an event mark was placed on the chart from the time you held the spacebar down and ended when you released it. In the event mark, you will see the questions tab title. In this example, X followed by a relevant one. When the subject responds, tap the spacebar again and the expected response will be marked on the chart. If a subject responds differently than the expected response, you can use the plus and minus keys on your keyboard to mark yes and no on the chart. When you have asked all of the questions and your first chart is complete, click the stop button to finish recording. The stop and start is the same button, however, you will notice that the caption changes accordingly. Now that the acquaintance test has been recorded, you can switch the question set to the zone comparison test template that you modified earlier. This change can be made by clicking on the drop down menu located under the start and stop button in the bottom right of the screen. To begin recording your first zone comparison test chart, click the start button or press enter on your keyboard. All events and data collected after this start point will be recorded. Questions will be asked using the same method covered earlier during the acquaintance test. Hold down the spacebar and read the question. When you have finished reading the question, release the spacebar. When the subject responds, tap the spacebar again and the expected response will be marked on the chart. Now that you have asked all of the questions in the zone comparison test, the chart is complete. Use your mouse to click on the stop button or press the enter key on your keyboard to stop recording. After clicking stop on the first zone comparison test chart, you will notice that the questions automatically roll to the next sequence for you. Continue the previous steps until you have recorded the remaining charts and have completed the examination. You can then close the chart recorder application by clicking the red X in the top right hand corner of the screen. This will bring you back to the front end. You can see the session that you have just recorded, in this example, Demo 1, within the session list. Congratulations, you've just completed your first examination using Polygraph Professional Suite. Thank you for joining me for the Polygraph Professional Suite Quick Start Tutorial. For more information about our Polygraph Professional Suite, please visit our website at www.limestonetech.com or follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash limestonetech.